found out. I take the continuous limit with the intervals and angle are very tiny. Mm -hmm. Let theta continuous k. Let theta be the angle at the front point p. Let theta continuous k. Let theta be the angle at the front point p. Let theta be the angle. Angle theta be the angle at the front point p. Yep, 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 So yeah, this is a, a looper I just built. It's about five seconds, and um, it's based on f off an AVR, uses SPI RAM, um, and uh, some analog components. And uh, you've got your input gain here, just so that your, your input isn't too hot. You've got your dry signal, clean dry, and you've got your wet, which is the looped, uh, looped sound. Um, it's kind of an archaic design. It isn't meant to be a, a traditional guitar looper or whatever. It's got some weird features that 
not quite sure how to how to describe. It's got a bypass toggle switch uh, like this, and it's got uh, the record uh, when when the LED is on. That means it's recording. And if you you've got your filter up here. It's a low pass filter, so um, it can be used as part of the effect, or it can use you can use it to sort of get rid of the um, digital anti aliasing. Um, digital digital aliasing, sorry. And uh, you've got your sort of tempo here or speed. So at the at the highest speed, that's at the max fidelity it'll allow, which is around um, 11 or 12 kilohertz. And you can slow it down at 11 11 or 12 kilohertz. You can record up to five seconds, which is uh, represented by this um, 16 LED um, time bar thing or whatever but if you slow it down you can slow it down to like easily a minute but uh, things get really ugly at that speed uh, you got your start and end position knobs so you can sort of can sort of trim which segment of your loop you want to play back and that's a lot of fun for sort of glitch and just overall you know sonic mangling so that's a lot of fun you've got your drift which is kind of um, when you've trimmed a bit of sound drift sort of offsets um, offsets where that trim begins and where it ends so that can be some uh, that can be used for some uh, pretty cool effects uh, and then you got your confusion knob which is um, Kind of a ping pong effect so if this width is your total trim time or no if this width is your total um, loop and you've trimmed just a segment well the ping pong will sort of go back and forth um, really fast on a really really uh, sm small uh, small sample so um, that's kind of fun for some really crazy effects and uh, you got your direction here, which is uh, basically playback forward or reverse. And in between is kind of this weird glitchy, doesn't know what, what it's doing. So I left that in. That's kind of fun.